Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, here today to talk about the Trim Surface, Split, and Split Line commands. Now these three powerful tools belong in every SOLIDWORKS surfacing user's repertoire, but learning when to use each one of them and understanding the differences between them can be a bit of a challenge. So in this video, we're going to identify the unique functions of each of these commands and take a look at some of the proper use cases for them. All three commands, by the way, were used in the process of creating the bottle design that you see here on the screen. It's also worth noting that while split and split line are also applicable to solid bodies, this video is going to examine them in the context of surface modeling. So to begin, let's go take a look at the very first surface that was used in the design of this bottle seen here on the screen. And we're going to talk about trim surface first. Now users who are already familiar with surfacing have likely used trim surface in some capacity. It's the most basic tool and it's used to remove information from a surface. It comes in two modes. You've got standard and mutual. Starting off with standard, we can use a simple sketch. You can also use a plane, a curve, etc. And basically what we're going to do is just use that as a trim tool and then we can remove or keep selection. So I can just take away material from the top here. Very simple to use very efficient and uh, that's a good example of using trim surface in the standard mode so how about mutual mode well that requires more than one surface if you have two surfaces that are intersecting for example in this case i've got just a simple extruded surface here i can use trim surface in mutual mode to modify both surfaces at the same time so in the case here i've got both surfaces selected i can choose to remove both the top and the outside of the trimming surface when I go ahead and say OK, what you'll find is that we've modified both surfaces and they've automatically been knitted together into a single surface seen here in the Surface Bodies folder. And mutual mode is really what defines trim surface. You have a lot of flexibility in mutual mode and it's really the most efficient tool for the job if you're trying to remove information. So that's trim surface and the next tool we're going to talk about is split. Split is very similar in many ways to trim surface, but it has a little bit different mode of operation. And the defining feature here is that when using split, you don't actually have to remove information. I can simply cut this part and create two bodies using that line as a dividing line. This is really nice because it does preserve the original shape of the surfaces, but now I can use something like move copy bodies, for example. I can go ahead and take my right hand surface, I'll use move copy bodies, Maybe I want to bridge the gap between these two and modify the shape of the bottle. All right? But you don't have to remove information, and that's what makes Split unique and very valuable. And the truth is, Split can actually accomplish most of what Trim Surface can in the context of surfaces, but you lack that mutual mode and that flexibility that Trim Surface has. So that's the Split command. Last but not least, I want to talk about Split Line. And this is an excellent tool for breaking up faces of a surface without changing the geometry of a surface. You may add edges, but you're retaining the original shape of the surface body. So let's take a look at split line. For this, I've got a simple elliptical sketch. And there are three modes here. We're going to take a look at projection, which uses a simple sketch. Some of the other modes can use curves, planes, surfaces, or even solid bodies. And they operate a little bit differently, but the basic concept is the same. In this case, we're going to choose a sketch, choose a face, project our sketch onto that face, and notice surface bodies are retained. There's still only one surface body. Unlike split, which breaks up surfaces, split line is just going to break up the face rather than the surface body. All right, and this is really useful if you want to apply decals, maybe appearances. I can drag and drop a red appearance on here, for example. And a very useful command operates very similarly to the wrap command if you're using the projection mode. So those are the three tools, Trim Surface, Split, and Split Line. Before we go, I just want to bring up a quick table here that summarizes these three tools. Trim Surface, you have standard and mutual modes. That mutual mode is what makes Trim Surface unique. You do have to remove something and you are going to modify bodies or possibly create new ones. Split, removal is optional. So you don't have to remove any information. You can break up bodies, modify those bodies, and possibly create new bodies as well and then split line. This doesn't remove anything, it doesn't change the shape or break up surfaces, and it splits faces only. Very valuable for adding appearances, decals, or creating model edges, in which you could run a command like a sweep on, for example. Do you have some other interesting use cases for these commands? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching.